I'm Alex, I'm the host of The Great Outdoors. Today, I want to show everyone a really beautiful species of caterpillar. Now this little caterpillar is known as the saddle caterpillar. It is one of four commonly found species of caterpillars here in Florida that sting. Now, I've never seen the sting of the saddle caterpillar I've tested. So we're gonna test the sting here today to find out just how painful that actually is. Some of the other caterpillars that you might find here in Florida that do produce a sting would be like the low moth caterpillar, the dagger moth caterpillar, the saddle caterpillar, and also the pus caterpillar, which is probably potentially the most painful sting caterpillar species. However, I have not been stung by this species of caterpillar, so I will induce a sting here today, and we will find out just how painful the saddle caterpillar actually is. It is a little intimidating actually just glancing at it. Now they do produce a sting similar to wasp but the sting is generated through hairs instead of a stinger. Now they are hollow bristles which can sting you multiple times because there's hundreds of bristles on these caterpillars. Now the reaction ranges greatly from itching, swelling, and in worst case situations can have some permanent issues. However, I don't think there's any reported deaths from definitely not the saddle caterpillar, but we will find out for sure today how bad this sting actually is. Now I'm gonna induce this sting right here on my forearm, just like I do with all of the wasp species. Now all I have to do is I'll just lay her right on my arm. We're gonna find out just how painful the sting of the saddle caterpillar really is. One two, three. Now, oh yeah, oh, instantly. Not too bad though, but definitely an instant irritating feeling. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. That's more than I expected from such a small caterpillar. Now, okay, so it feels almost like an electrical, kind of like a taser, like just pulsing. Um, electricity right now. Um, I know it will swell up. I certainly can feel that. And we will see the reaction of this stinging caterpillar species. But I do want to let this beautiful species go. Now a species like this feeds on trees like oak trees. And this caterpillar is pretty close to full grown. And uh, it's about ready to move into its next phase of life through a process known as metamorphosis. If you actually look it's moving right now now they move slow they're kind of like slugs in a way now they have little grappling feet beneath all of those spines and i will note that that bright green color acts as a pretty good camouflage because it actually looks like a leaf spot on a leaf and almost not even visible now let's talk about the sting uh, i will say the intensity has not gone up since the initial sting but it's pretty consistent so we're probably approaching around a minute now and i can actually start to see where these are starting to whelp up so let me get a different camera angle we'll look at the whelps and we'll see just how long and prolonged the effects of this stinging caterpillar actually are i would like to go ahead and release this caterpillar onto a little oak tree so it can fulfill its life purpose and life cycle let's go ahead and do that now and now you probably realize why I did the sting test indoors, because it's nighttime. So I got the night vision on my camera, and I'm literally just gonna lay this leaf, if you can see that. I'm gonna lay it right here, where that caterpillar can just migrate to the next leaf, right here on All the right, we're only a minute in. Sorry. And you can see already some rash developing. Um, nothing major yet, but I imagine within five minutes, we're gonna see a pretty significant swelling site. All right, we are within the first three minutes of being stung. And yeah, that's generated a pretty good whelp already. We'll just have to wait and see how much worse this is actually gonna get. But there's certainly a whelp. I really appreciate all of y'all's support and hopefully we'll see you again here soon. Thanks to everyone. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We, we are, are the many. many. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony.
Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission. All about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction. So many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. So it's our one and only day. planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. Specimen. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places. By over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting, that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it, which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. Every day a new adventure, a new creature. Shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible.